What's up YouTube? Welcome to FTM for the music. My name is Lucas Charles Rose and I'm here to introduce you to some of the most talented musicians in the transmasculine community. Yeah. This week we have two special guests and I'm gonna let them introduce themselves. Hey everyone, my name is Quinn. I am a singer-songwriter from Central Florida. I play guitar, harmonica, and violin. I started playing music about fourth grade, although it was a big part of my life growing up. Uh, my mother plays piano and sings, and that was a, a huge impact on my life. Uh, she actually taught me how to harmonize to Bette Midler, of all things. I play folk music, and I would have to say my biggest influence is Bob Dylan. Uh, I also like, you know, Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, uh, Fleet Foxes, all kinds of stuff, Red Hot Chili Peppers. First, I just want to say thank you so much for letting me be a part of this movement. I really appreciate it. It's a great thing you guys are doing, so thank you. Can I introduce myself and my music? Yes, I can. Uh, my name is Nico Freeman. I am a composer. Uh, I'm a writer, hip-hop artist, spoken word artist, um, an awesome person. <laughs> my music, uh, well, my music if somebody would ask me to describe my music, uh, I don't really know what to say except eclectic. I like to blend different genres, uh, whether it be hip hop and Christian contemporary, or uh, rock and ambient, or orchestral. Uh, it really doesn't matter. You know, I love I love all uh, types of music, and so I, I like to fuse them um, together to create like awesome awesome music. So the question that I have for you this week is how has your identity influenced your music? I identify as genderqueer, queer, uh, and well, you know, I, I like to put my emotions and my thoughts and um, just my life into my music. I like to put my experiences into my music. Um, my music is very therapeutic both to the viewer and, and for myself really. You know, I don't just put things out just to just to put them out and get views or get subscribers, you know, or listeners. I really um, put them out because of, of my own <laughs> sanity, you know, my own experiences to, to stay balanced, you know, and to, take, and to stay sane. Um, but, um, you know, with with my music, I want to inspire people. Uh, I hear in the media, you know, there's in the media, there's, the media, there's really no representation um, for queer characters or trans characters um, or trans people, I should say. There's really no representation, um, so no positive representation anyway. So with my music and and, and with my art and my craft. I would like to have that representation. I would like to um, show people that yes, you know, you can be queer and do this. You know, there it is light at the end of the tunnel. You know, so um, yeah. And I also want to. Um, I just I just want to use our voice uh, for something positive because, you know, we do see that the media uh, news outlet. You know, in the world, there's a lot of negativity surrounding us. You know, there's kids being bullied, you know, suicides, murders, you know, just a lot of negativity. So I do want to use our voice, you know, in, into a, in, in a positive way. I don't want us to be silenced anymore. So, um, yeah, so hopefully, hopefully I'm, hopefully I'm achieving that goal. Um, yeah. How has my identity influenced my music? I think the good thing about being a transgender singer songwriter is, well, for me, um, you know, I before I realized I was transgender, I was writing music for years. So I think that although music is a unified thing, the way males and females approach the craft of songwriting kind of differs because you're working with a different instrument. You know, your voices are way different. So fortunately, I had the ability to write songs from a, a more feminine perspective, if you will. Um, and then once I transitioned, I started listening to music, you know, a lot more intensely with, with thoughts of gender influencing the music. 
And I realized, you know, Stevie Nicks writes a lot different than, say, Bob Dylan. Although it's the same great music, uh, the approach vocally is different, which makes, you know, the chords a little bit different, the chord progressions. So I think that my identity has influenced my music because I get kind of the marriage of masculine and feminine in my songs. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys. Hope it does. And that's it for this week. If you want to know more about Quinn and Nico, you should check out their social media links and come back next Wednesday for the second part of this episode. On Friday, you will have an exclusive performance by Quinn. And the Friday after that, another performance by another artist that isn't even in this episode. So much goodness. You have to come back to check it out. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Bye. To the ceiling, cause I'd rather be laughing than crying If I wanna make it big, I ain't got time to be complaining But ever since I found the courage to tell the world who I am My positivity is going through a real tough time A real tough time I feel better but losing faith in the world around me Having to explain myself everywhere I be I ain't even famous yet, but I ain't got no privacy But I put my hands in the air like I can touch the sky Singing in the rain, waiting for the sunshine Hands in the air like I can touch the sky I put my hands in the air like I can touch the sky I put my hands in the air like I can touch the sky Singing in the rain, waiting for the sunshine Hands in the air like I can touch the sky I put my hands in the air like I can touch the sky I mean, it's not like I got any secrets I write rhymes and I'm honest with myself Yeah, I'm honest, but sometimes, sometimes I'd like to forget by my past